Nice to see you again. This is Dr. Obsidia. Hope you're doing well today. I'm going to be taking out Exalt. Our operative is ready to be extracted. Excellent. We Last time we put together our team, progress. no changes have been made. So we're going in, uh, hopefully, with a rookie team, mostly rookie team. And uh, we do have good... Uh, we do have some good explosives here. Um, and we do have stacks along with the smoke. So we'll see how that goes. Just need to hold on to the transmitter. The world is starting to look like it's falling into panic. Strike one. Unfortunately, that also means that we are in the hole a lot of money. Cell based in Canada. It looks like our operative will need assistance in securing the enemy data. operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. New objective received. Well, let's see. I can see one um, hackable place and can almost get there right now so I think if our guy moves forward he'll be in danger um, so let's uh, just move our guys forward and go after defending the transmitter more than the encoder although we do have the sniper um, who could try to uh, help out with the uh, encoder a little bit too I'll come back to you in a minute. Aye, aye. Of course. Just gonna say we're getting a little overwatch here. But uh, he's flanked now. All right, well, that's all right. Stax has got plenty of smoke for this situation. Um, he can pull off to the side. Uh, he can take cover, actually high cover. Hit him outside. There we go. Let's go ahead and blow the smoke over the majority of the team. Do I have one over here that's a little bit at risk? Let's see what they do. The sniper's out in the open, but under the smoke I feel a little bit more confident. Whoa. That was not expected. It's pretty thick smoke. Gonna throw his smoke too. But we don't need to stay here and fight these guys. Um, we can fall back. That is not a problem. Moving out. There's no shots available there. On my way. I'm going to run Jacobs inside. Um, our sniper is not in a position to uh, engage anybody. The sniper would like to get inside the, the bus. Probably could have left the shiv right there. Teet. Um,
Dude's actually not a bad shot. Um, let's pull him over here so he's still under the smoke. Um, he doesn't really have a good shot there. He's in a position where he could just run up on that at any time. I would like to get her in the bus as well. Let's move her up here. I'd like to get her under high cover though. Just overwatch. We'll use that when we need to when things start going a little bit south. Okay, his smoke is gone. I guess it only lasts uh, one turn anyway. Sniper can see here. 48, 13. Yeah, we'll take the 48. Miss. No, shot wide. She's got a 57 to hit. A reaction fire. Guess I'm glad I put her behind high cover. is going to be um, one of our better shooters here. He's uh, getting shot at. I don't think he likes that very much. He could just hunker down. We want them to move forward. a good hit. I want to move forward into the overwatch. I'm gonna just stay behind high cover there. There is a sniper somewhere over here. Oh, he's behind high cover as well. Oh, they have a low chance to hit. There we go. Oh! Those weren't bad shots either. We still got more Overwatch, I think. Oh, he's gonna. He better not hit anybody. That's fantastic. Commander, scans indicate additional contacts approaching Strike One's position. He's wearing armor, and he's got a rocket launcher. Good kill. He's down. Good shot. And good kill. Thirty-three. Yeah, let's take it. Sniper should take these shots because uh Nothing else much to do. I don't think we can throw a grenade that far. I mean, we could could potentially hit it. Um, I don't really want to take the chance. Let him hunker. Stacks is not really needed out there. Like they're moving, maybe moving. These exalt operatives appear to have undergone extensive genetic enhancement. One percent. Suggesting exalt has access to meld as well as lab facilities on par with our own. However, I would never suggest we follow such an unrestrained approach to modifying the physiology of our own soldiers. Someone is attempting to access the encoder, Commander. We can't allow exalt to hack that equipment, or they're going to locate the transmitter. to try to take him down. That's unfortunate. Non è possibile. That's affirmative. It's kind of hoping. 
Adjusting aim. Oh. I'm gonna move over here now. Exalt has a number of communications relays nearby. If our operative can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data, they should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. We've disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. That's too bad. Probably could just probably shoot the rocket at us next, right? No. I made a concerted effort to try to take that guy down. Um, I'm gonna run him all the way over here, so that he can throw grenades at that to cover up there. They're regening. The and healing. That's great. That means he's got better accuracy. Okay. Hostile contacts closing on Strike One's position, Commander. We've got another one over here. Um, another encoder type thing deal we can hack. Bad guys to deal with. Okay, we'll take that shot. Nailed him. I need ammo. Not enough ammo to run and gun. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess we're gonna reload. Clack, clack, bang. Clack, clack, bang, indeed. All right, well, we're gonna need Petite to get up there. Um, I think he can run. He can actually uh, stop the hack, to be honest. It's a highly risky situation there. We'll move the shiv over. The shiv can suppress too. Right in the middle. suppressed knocked out part of their cover I think we can um, yeah we'll run right up in that mess we're gonna smoke him don't worry oh he's got a lot of enemies to deal with that's all right he's up in there stopping the hack for the time being Lots of targets. Of course, we're not going to hit any of them, right? Trying to get him. You see him lit up here. There we go. Just enough to hit him with some smoke. They got a lot of hit points. We don't. <laughs> they got a lot more people than we do, too. Roger Dodger. Is he not smoked? Looks like he doesn't have his uh, buff there. I'm not able to tell he's going to get lit up just by all these shots coming in on him. Oh, 
Wake me up when this is all done. <laughs> Lasers now, too. He's not getting buffed, I think. That's well, hard to tell, really, but this is kind of scary. He's taking a lot of fire for somebody who's supposed to have a buff and doesn't have one. I mean, you saw him lit up when I threw the smoke. I'm gonna have to get the shiv out of there. It's not able to do its job. It's okay. Um, we're gonna run and gun here. This will give him a chance to. Take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. <laughs> oh, we had a good chance to kill him and didn't get it. Alright. Ship's gonna come outside and reload. This is kind of a bad thing. Um, We're green to go. He is in a lot of trouble right now. Um, I could pull him all the way back down. I think pulling him back behind high cover is probably the best choice for him. I'm going to have to blow this all up up here, including the encoder probably. i get as much in there I can, as I can. Yeah, we're just going to blow the encoder. It's only got a turn left if they're going to get it. So we're just going to blow it all up. But they all get adrenaline surges. That's nice. I was kind of hoping that cleared out some of their cover. It didn't look like it did at all. It's all at 57. Wow, you know. <laughs> 46. Come on. We need some hits here. I'll get him next time. Moving to position. Okay. That's it. I'm out. Of course, we're not getting kills. Commander, by now they'll be shifting forces toward the transmitter's location. Strike one has to get moving to protect that gear or we'll lose the data. We have a new objective. Is that a... I'm not going to say anything. let that, you know, simmer. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Of course you are. Commander, we've got more hostiles closing on the air. Of course we do. And he's going to take cover. High cover, no less. Great. Of course, we're out of ammo here. Oh, she's just having a hell of a day. Leave it. 
We're gonna chase this guy with our operative. Oh boy, yep. Yep. Well, he got a kill. Sixteen percent to hit the guy that's right outside. Sniper's gonna have to deal with something here pretty quickly. I'm gonna pull this shiv way back and try to light this guy up. We got a couple choices to make. Um, he doesn't have that many hit points, and we could fall back and shoot him. Got a 91 to kill him with the shiv, though. And the other guy, we don't have much. Let's go ahead and kill him with the shiv. Or not. Fall back here, switch to the pistol, and shoot him down. 95 miss. I'll get him next time. Okay, and he's gonna, Stax is going to do the same exact thing from point blank range with the pistol. No longer a threat. Our sniper um, is in a little bit of trouble right now. Sniper can probably take cover over here. Far from everything. A regen biofield. What's he gonna do? We're happy if they just try to get in here and, and get killed. Oh. Only one could see her, and then one shows up behind high cover and blasts her. Well, they're just pushing. They're not trying to come for it, which is really difficult to deal with. Too many of them. Whoa, whoa. Lasers are danger for him. He's behind low cover against lasers. Bad news, that. Got snapshot? Come on. Oh, man. Come on. There was only one we could see, and now he got like four shots against her. We're gonna have to pull him out of the bus just to try to make him come up to the bus because they're just um, they're just blasting us, you know. They're not just trying to rush the bus like um, you would, oh, and then they're gonna Overwatch, of course. The Shiv is is playing way in the back here. Move him back behind cover. See if we fall back kind of in this area. We're suppressed. They could hunker. Oh, take a reload. damage. Four damage. We don't have anybody else to shoot. I thought we had one more 
And I guess I did tell him to hunker. So. I do want to get them out of the bus. Let them come in after us. But, you know, we're suppressed right now. So, what's he going to do? Oh, yeah. He's not going to go for the uh, hack. He's just going to blow away our... Blow away our team. We have nobody with any ammo over there either. So, oh, the Shiv is there, I guess. The Shiv can take care of it. Oh, these Exalt, man, they're tough with these lasers now. They suddenly have lasers. Well, he's going to die to the Shiv. lands on the roof, of course. And overwatches. Hey, we got a knife. Knife that guy. <laughs> Nobody can do anything. Run and gun. It's, it's a risk. We need him back here, though. See, I mean, otherwise we're going to lose. Come on. You can make it. You can make it, come on. I need you to take him down. Sentry. Oh, he didn't kill him. He didn't kill him. These guys don't have any means to deal with this guy either. Other than maybe take cover. Let the Shiv kill him. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. I think we can smoke her, just in case she gets uh, in trouble. I need to have a reload. Somebody has to have bullets. I don't want to be behind this car. I don't really think we have a choice. We got flank all over the place. She's at least smoked. Or cost, cost us. Oh boy. Yep. Did that just take down the wall too? Of course it did. I mean, we can't have anybody. Uh, we can't have nice things, you know? She's gonna have to pull back, even with all the overwatch. Even if she lives, that is. Could heavily smoke it, I think it's the best bet. If she lives, she's gonna be in an incredible amount of danger. She's still smoked, so it might be redundant. We need her to get outside. Maybe just a little bit outside. Oh, yep, here it comes. Ah! Oh! Critically wounded. Of course, we're going to have panic. Shiv's gonna have to reload. We need you to reload because we need you functioning. Oh, 
Probably should have moved behind the bus. This is bad. This is real bad. Results not as stupid as I remember them. I remember them kind of running in and trying to get to the uh, device all the time. Oh no, and of course Duarte panics. we're going to be able to do. Oh, come on. And our rookie. We have exalt forces attempting to access the transmitter, Commander. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't even matter. There's nothing we can do about that. There is literally nothing we can do about that. I don't even think we can pull out of here. We don't even have an exit strategy at this point. Look at those reaction shots. It's like we don't even have the luxury of saying, let's take some with us, because it doesn't really do much. We don't even crit when we have a chance to crit, you know. It's we don't have the firepower to take out those exalt forces with that many hit points and those lasers. And we have no way to get out of here. Well, I would like to say that it was a good uh, fight, but we were really outclassed. Like, we don't even stand a chance against this. Even if um, our gren grenadier didn't die there, um, I don't know what we could have done. Look at what we're up against. He may have killed maybe two or three if he was lucky, maybe four. We could even give, say, kill five, but you know, look at what we're up against. They have more hit points, they have better weapons, um, they have meld upgrades, they have armor. That was the hit points there. And um, they're not just the dumb exalt that I recall. The, the dumb exalt used to just charge in uh, to try to get stuff, and then you could deal with this many of them. But um, now they seem to, to have a different plan in mind. They're very much uh, creeping forward. Creeping forward. Oh, they did have an exit. Well, and not like we could have got there anyway. Well, we're so far in the hole we can't replace our uh, lost items. Can't really replace our lost people. It's looking very bleak at this point. And uh, we're getting so far behind. They were some of our best. I wish there was more we could have done. See, we've lost um, lost a bunch of laser stuff that we need, um, some damaged items. We don't have anywhere near enough money. We're not getting any good requests either. Um, we don't have enough Illyrium to sell. <laughs> very, very bleak at this point. Commander, we have a swarming abduction site, and uh, we don't have anybody to send. Our team is, is so gravely wounded. We don't even have... Uh, <laughs> we're in a, a pretty tight spot right now. We're going to see what happens. We... <laughs> We do have a mech, finally. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable, but they're of no use without a cyber suit to interface with. I 
You got your whole body chopped up. <laughs> Just in time to watch XCOM go down. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. I can lead a lot of rookies into battle. ignore it. If it landed, I don't think we can really do anything about it. Let's see. Um, in the zone. Could send just the mech in <laughs> with a bunch of rookies. Um, at this point in the game, um, what uh, we kind of need some luck to, on our side. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do. I mean, if I visit the gray market, I mean, I could sell. See, we don't even have um, a lot of stuff to sell either. Let's our research it. Like, we have no active research. <laughs> How long has that been going on? Oh boy. Oh, floater. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. What the last thing I researched was? Access research archives. Um, improved body armor. Um, that gave us the alloy shiv. I'm trying to remember where we were. Maybe the alien. Um, well, I can't remember what the last thing we researched was, but uh, looks like I may have been uh, making no progress on research when I should have been. Well, even though I may have gotten two or three more things, it's hard to say that it would have turned the things around at this point. We're pretty far behind. I mean, it could have helped. It was a big slip up not having research done. I don't know why that happened. I'll let it go. There's not a lot we can do about it. Yes. Did that put us in the positives? It did. Um, and at this point, I'll be happy for anything laser related. Get a phalanx armor up too. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have researched enhanced ballistics because it would have helped uh, shoot our ballistics a little bit f uh, or last a little bit longer. Um, because uh, we do depend on ballistics because our lasers keep getting damaged. France is panicking. Uh, the shaped armor. I forget what the shaped armor does. Um, boundary, right? No, wait. Boundary? Shaped armor. mechanized so it wouldn't have been that big of a deal this is probably the research path i would have gone down um had i known interrogate floater yeah. I can't believe the research wasn't being done. I kind of wonder why research wasn't popping for a little bit. I guess uh, one of the things is since I don't play um, continuously, you know, I'm, I'm making these every few days, it's pretty easy to realize, uh, not realize that something's on its way. You know, you kind of detach yourself from the game a bit sometimes uh, as you do other things in your life. <laughs> so that was probably why 
I was gonna do it and then I just kind of slipped my mind because I was finishing up the video. Oh well, live and learn. Rance is gone. Contact detected. We're not gonna be able to do anything about that. I don't know if we can do anything about that either. Yeah, we don't have anybody to deal with that either. Wanna ignore it? There's not much we can do about a landed UFO if we can't do anything about the swarming. And now Argentina's gone. Well they just they just gutted us right there. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the holiday. Well, let's see what our options are at this point. Um, we have a Jaeger, but that's it. Our scout, we don't we don't have anybody that's got any levels here. Um, we've got uh, three who are coming back relatively soon, maybe four that are decent. Uh, beyond that, um, we don't have much to deal with at this point. Again, it's pretty much suicidal, I think, to send um, a bunch of rookies into a moderate um, situation. What did this net us? Uh, just some research credit. Psionics for six days. Advanced body armor would be good. I think uh, we don't have the money for it. I don't think we have the money for much of anything at this point. Get something to bring them down. Okay, we'll get rid of floater corpses and bring in a new recruit. Um, Cargo. Cargo here is looking to be a medic, I think. That's, uh, we lost our good medic. Uh, we need to get people back up in the field very quickly at this point, so... Uh, let's see. Recovery time of non-critically wounded people, and... Um, he's got okay aim. I guess we can give him rapid reaction. Well, maybe we just make him a pure medic. Might be able to use one. Okay. Salt's so gonna mess up our research. We're gonna ignore Exalt for now. Dorn's back. We actually have a little bit of a strike team now. We don't have any uh, satellites up. Let's see who can send on this mission. Set our scout. Position in India. What is this going to give us? Armored fighter project, wingtip sparrows. Yeah, we would have had better weapons. Um, improve avionics, super sky rangers. Better weapons. Guess we can go for Xeno Psionics. It's not much we can do about it, but um, go ahead. 
No, I don't think it matters at this point. I think we're so far behind. Um, we're just needing money. Dig us out of the hole. Commander, we've got another transmission coming in from the... You want us to do the bomb? 153, target escort. Let's see what we've got available. Okay, um... We've got a team we could put together. 256 wouldn't... I mean, look how badly we're uh, situated, though. A couple requests. Just alien alloys? No. Alright. We don't have any satellites. Uh, if we get this, we could throw a satellite up, which uh, is late to the party. Way out of our price range here, these things. Way, way out of our price range. I don't think we'd ever really have been able to afford that. Armored fighters. Would have been nice. I think we're so far behind at this point, I don't see us pulling out <laughs> of this uh, downward spiral. So, um, I think that I'm going to uh, stop my campaign right here. Uh, and if you want me to finish it, of course, I'm going to keep it saved. Uh, if, if you guys are interested in seeing how it plays out. But uh, rather than invest more time in something that I, I'm sure is just a losing battle at this point... Um, XCOM would uh, scatter and go underground <laughs> unless you guys want to see more of the punishment. Uh, that last mission against Exalt showed that we were so outclassed, uh, we're not able to stop Exalt uh, in the field, and the aliens were still doing okay against, but that's slowly turning against us because they are picking us off one by one, and uh, they're picking off our good people, not just the rookies. So uh, it's been a good run. I expected to lose. Uh, I may. Um, move on to XCOM 2. They have uh, Long War of the Chosen uh, beta, so I may check that out um, and, and upload some of that. Uh, I've got some other things that I've, uh, you know, in the pipe too that I would like to start working on as well. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of this, I will save it and I will run it. Or if you want to see another Long War campaign, I don't mind restarting it. It's, it's definitely a great game. So thanks for joining. Uh, take care. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested in me pursuing more of this campaign or if you'd like to see me restart a long war, um, if you'd like to see it a different way. Because it's been a long time since I've played. Probably five years since I've even touched it. So coming back in, uh, it's changed a little bit since I last touched it. And uh, it's been an interesting run uh, playing it as XCOM. Totally thinking I would lose, and uh, I definitely did. And the, not doing research didn't help any. And a bit of the unluck on my side as well. So it was a good run. Fun. All right. Take care. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.